X-Men Season 1, Episode 6. This episode is called Cold Vengeance. Right, right, the 1992 to 1997 X-Men show. This episode is called Cold Vengeance. Spoilers for these first six episodes. And, yeah, another episode that I absolutely love. So, let's dive right in. So, yeah, Cyclops doesn't have a lot of patience or, you know, empathy for why did... Why did Wolverine leave and Jean can't quite bring herself to tell him that, you know, she knows. And, let's see. Yeah, and, and you know, Wolverine, when he has, you know, basically, he could go anywhere. He goes to this cold wilderness, you know, that's where he feels at home. Which, you know, both works for this kind of animal thing and, you know, him wanting to be alone. And, yeah, some very cool fights between Wolverine and Sabretooth. You know, the... the and, and very, very cold. To, you know, yeah, both of them throw the other into some... Like, off the... the you know, Snowy Mountain into something where they expect they would die. You know, falling into ice water, that's, yeah. You know, you'd, only someone like Wolverine could survive. And Gambit has heard of Genosha and is telling, you know, saying, you know, maybe we should check this out. And Cyclops is, like... Just shutting it down to the point where he's like gets angry at Gambit, which I don't know. I feels a little out of character. Feels a slightly forced conflict kind of stuff. And yeah, and Wolverine is found by Inuit, and let's see. yeah, and and Wolverine actually feels happy around them. The the kind of you know, yeah, he's, they don't know he's a mutant, they don't know about mutants, and the kinds of things that they admire, you know, being good at fishing, for example, is something that he's good at, so, yeah, you know, it's it's that thing of, I, I really appreciate, like, yeah, episode six, you know, the first five episodes, he seems like he's basically always, like, at least somewhat annoyed or frustrated with something. And here we see, yeah, he actually, you know, hypothetically he could be happy. It's just, it is circumstance, you know, and that is a great message for the kids. And, yeah, so when when the, the X-Men arrive at Genosha, they, you know... Yeah, it's they're they're investigated and Storm is identified, and the guy you know calls, and it's it's very dated by the fact that it's like this you know landline phone. He's not like using any kind of but but yeah, you know great bit of the, like we immediately wonder okay who did he call? We we get the sense that it's not good, and. Yeah, so Kiwek, you you know, lures Wolverine into a, a kayak, and you know he thinks that Sabretooth is going to. What was Sabretooth's plan? Did he know that Wolverine would guess and come back? Because one minute of time for. Yeah, I feel like well, did they? Did someone writing this episode think Sabretooth was like, you know, could, could tell the future? Because he also somehow knew exactly where Wolverine would would go to set up explosives earlier in the episode. Yeah, it's fine. And, yeah, you know, Wolverine says, there's no peace for me, not even here. And that is very true to the, the comic. Some things you just have to face alone. Like me not leaving footsteps whilst walking amongst Sabretooth's footsteps. 
And yeah, so yeah, Sabretooth gives Wolverine one minute to save him. Big fan of explosives, at least this episode. Doesn't he usually like to get his hands more dirty? I guess it's the kid show thing. The, like in the comics, he'd be like digging his claws into people and uh, yeah. And let's see. yeah, you know, another great fight. And yeah, I think it probably was around one minute from the fight starting. And yeah, so you know the 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 leader um, of the, of the Inuit group that we see in the episode say you know the Inuit will no longer be able to follow the old ways and. Yeah, you know, that is a, a very important issue that kids should be aware of. You know, a lot of Native peoples, they lived a certain way, and now they're being forced to not live that way, you know, and that's, you know, it's, it's easy to understand who, you know, nobody wants to be forced to stop living the way that feels right for you. And... Storm is like, I've never seen Jubilee this happy. Not in the, I don't know, has it been more than days? Like, it's episode six. I think it might have been good to save that line for a little bit later. Or to have her say it about one of the X-Men that the, the the show establishes they, you know, she's known for a long time. But so. And, yeah. You know, and, and a small army and... A, you know, big robot, including even a, a sentinel attack the the X Men, and we get a to be continued, very very cool way to to finish off. Like you know, you gotta see what what happens next. And you know, the the this notion of you know Genosha being a safe haven for mutants. There are people who have used you know who've said if you go here, you'll be safe to entrap, uh, you know, people that can, they consider their enemies. I'm always wary of when native peoples are used in fiction like this, and, like, ultimately it did feel like they were there so that we could see the Wolverine could be happy under certain circumstances, you know, and, and certainly the episode doesn't really say, like, if this was the first time a kid even heard of Inuit people, I guess they might think, oh, it's because people are running, you know, they might not, they might accept that mutants, are, you know, mutants with superpowers at least don't exist in the real world, but it's like, I guess the Inuit have had to change their ways because there are people who come from the outside world to escape from their own world and they fight and that means the Inuit, you know, it's that can be part of it but it's not exactly the yeah I guess they it is good at least that kids would take away from this you know, Inuit, you know, native peoples are being forced to change their ways through no fault of their own and I think that might more or less cover... This was an episode with not... Like, most of the mutant power use was, like, Wolverine and Sabretooth. Like, there's a little bit at the end with, you know, the, the mutants fighting back against the, the robots and, and soldiers and such. But other than that, like... This is the first episode that doesn't use a lot of them, and yeah, I really appreciate this, you know, focus on Wolverine, and, you know, a lot of, honestly, most of my favorite stories that feature Wolverine from the comics are, like, solo stories, like, when he goes off on his own, you know, I'm, I'm really, really hoping that the MCU will, like, make a show the focus is on Wolverine, and, like, each episode could be a self-contained story from some point of his life. You know, those are, in, in general, some of my favorite comic books, period. Um, I think 
that more or less covers. We still don't really get a lot of detail about Wolverine and Sabretooth's past, but I think it's coming. I think a later episode we'll like dive deep into, and that is better than just having like a brief flashback here. I think that might be. Um. Yeah, I I suppose the that is what I have to say about this one. I kind of like that this time it was Xavier and not Jean resolving a conflict. And I guess Cyclops gets into arguments with male members of the team even when Wolverine isn't around. I I don't think this was actually was this the first time that there was conflict directly between. Cyclops and Gambit, isn't it usually between... And anyway, but yeah. Um, maybe the the thing with Cyclops getting so angry at Gambit was because he felt like Wolverine is trying to tear the team apart by leaving. You know, you can't depend on him. And now Gambit is like, you know, he feels like Gambit is questioning his leadership, his leader snip snails, and... Yeah, yeah, you know, that, it, um, good message for the kids, you know, beware of leaders who get very angry and upset if they feel like their leadership is being called into question, you know, any, any good leader should accept that kind of thing. I suppose that might be about it. Yeah, uh, so, yeah, next episode will be tomorrow, and yeah, make my marble.